everyone welcome back to my channel back to school season is knocking at our door so in today's video i'll be sharing some of my favorite back to school bullet journal spreads so let's start the first spread that i have added is our semester at a glance this is a calendar style spread where you can mark some of the major events or program conducted in your institution. In this spread, I have added 5 blocks for 5 different months to write down the days. You can also use stamps. Since it's locked down, I thought of doing it by myself. To make it a little more attractive, you can also highlight the wigs. Now, I am marking some points to write down what the event was about. I have also added a little section for notes in case something really exciting happens. Moving on to the next spread is an assignment tracker which is self-explanatory by its name. I like to make my assignment tracker for a month at a time to track my assignment properly. So, I have made a timeline for the month of August with dates on the left hand side and the week separated by a horizontal lines. Now moving to the next spread that I am going to add in my bullet journal is a class information spread. This may be new for some people but this spread turns out to be the most helpful one, especially during the online class due to the pandemic or even in the normal classes. First of all, you need to add the subjects that you are studying in different rows. Then divide the section into two parts, the first part marked as professor and the second part marked as schedule. Mm -hmm. 
In the professor section, you can add the name of professor, his or her email address, and his or her office hour. Likewise, in the schedule section, you can add the type of class, whether it is lecture or discussion class or even lab or practicals. The next spread is definitely the most important spread which is the weekly schedule. For the weekly schedule, I like to make a big blocks and divide them into rows and columns. On the vertical axis, I am adding time from morning to evening with a difference of 1 hour. Likewise, in the horizontal axis, I have written days of the week. At the bottom part of the spread, you can use different color markers to indicate different subjects. Now, inside the block, you can add colors according to the subject that we'll be having in that particular day. After adding the color, you can use a pen to mark whether the class is a lecture or discussion class or lab. Sadly, I won't be having any practicals due to the pandemic. You can also use sticky notes to fill the boxes if your routine is not stable. The next one is a great tracker which many people think is not so essential but it is refreshing to look back at your grades while going through the journal. Here I have added a little index to mark whether the exam format is a quiz, midterm, project or the final and mark them with different symbols. Below it is a box with columns having date, category, subject and finally score. The final one is definitely the goal section. I like to make it as simple as possible, so I have divided the code into four branches, including academics, fitness, personal, and other. In other sections, we can write about social media, relationship, and so on. So, let's have a quick look at all the spreads. I hope this video was useful to the students out there. And if it was, don't forget to like this video and comment down your favorite spread. Also make sure to subscribe my youtube channel if you haven't. And make sure to press the bell icon to get notified as soon as I post a new video. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and tuned until next time.